Hello, everybody, and welcome to Flock Talk. Now, just the other week, my wife went and visited British Columbia, and I requested that she go and check out the Feathered Addictions uh, actual physical store. And while she was there, she picked up a bunch of Halloween toys as well as some food items that I have never personally tried with my birds before. So we're going to have my birds sample those items today and see whether or not they like them. First up is going to be this little bag of freeze-dried apples by Weirdos Wonder Feed, which is a Feathered Addictions exclusive brand. The only thing in here is freeze-dried apples. There's nothing else weird or funky on it. It is just apples without the moisture. Both of my guys really, really love apples when they are fresh and juicy, so we're gonna see if they like these just the same. If my birds do end up liking them, I would really, really love to be able to use these as an alternative for training treats. Since seeds can be pretty fatty, a freeze-dried fruit can be a nice alternative to a training treat. This allows you to still reinforce those behaviors without putting on a ton of fat and calories that could potentially cause health problems for your bird. Freeze-dried fruits are also a really great option if you happen to have lorikeets or other birds that are frugivores and do not eat seeds as a primary form of their diet. Freeze-dried fruits are an easy way to deliver those reinforcements without having sticky syrups or other messy foods that you would be feeding them. Freeze-drying keeps that food clean while still maintaining within their dietary parameters. Who's coming? So Newt seemed to like this one quite a bit, which is pretty much what I expected. He is a big fan of apples. Toto was not really interested in it at all. He almost seemed offended that I thought that he would take this as food. Um, so <laughs> we'll see if maybe he warms up to it over time. But even with watching Newt eat it, he was just not interested at all. Newt not only seemed to enjoy it, but he also seemed to enjoy the texture of it. You can see him ripping it up and tearing it, and even if he doesn't want to eat it, it still seems to be fun enrichment for him to be tearing into the food and ripping it apart. It's not freeze-dried to the point of being completely crunchy. It's more like a soft squish with a very like faint snap in some of the thinner areas of the apple, but it is more of like a foamy texture, I would say, um, which Newt seems to be enjoying as he's grating the flavor of the apple out of the inside of it. The second thing on the list is by China Prairie, and it is their Immunity, which is basically an herb blend with flowers and seeds and things like that, that you add hot water to and make little batches of bird tea. Now, hypothetically, each tea would have different aspects to it that could be beneficial, like things like chamomile can be more calming and things like that. This one is supposed to help be a bit of an immune booster. Since we're heading into winter, figured it would be a pretty good idea as well as Mr. Newt, who does occasionally struggle with feather destructive behaviors, doesn't hurt to have a little bit of boost to your immune system. So we're gonna see if they like the flavors. And while this mix is intended to be made into a tea, all of the dried herbs and things can just be eaten as is. So this is also a really fun thing to just sprinkle on top of their produce, mix in with their seeds, and just add a bit of variety into their daily diet. My birds have had tea before. They've only had one kind and it's like an organic chamomile. That's the only thing that I've ever tried. And Newt in particular really, really loves having that warm flavored water. So I think he's gonna end up liking this, but we'll find out. It smells very, very, I'm looking for like spicy. It has a very, very strong scent, which smells really fresh and vibrant, almost like pepperminty, that sort of potentness. So I'm excited to see what this is gonna taste like for them and whether or not they like it. In this tea, there's peppermint leaf, licorice root, lemongrass, dandelion root, fennel seed, flaxseed, decaf green tea, echinacea, purpure uh, herb, passionflower herb, green ribos, I'm sorry milk, thistle, fenugreek set, uh, seeds, anise, rose petals, and cornflower petals. So we're gonna make some tea out of this and we're gonna offer it to them dry. So we'll put the dry form in this jar and then we will make the tea in this cup with my little rubber ducky tea diffuser guy. So since this is for birds, you're not supposed to use boiling water, you're just gonna use hot water from your tap. So I've done hot water at a temperature that's just a little bit hotter than what I think it would actually drink since it'll cool down a little bit before they actually get to try it. I'm going to spoon some of the tea into my infuser here and then we will float little ducky. Oh, he does not float very well. <laughs> there we go. We're going to float him in the water for a bit, let the tea diffuse. So it doesn't actually say how long to steep it for, so I'm just going to leave it until it starts smelling really strongly of tea or it changes color until I feel like it's done, I guess. 
but we'll leave it like that until it's a temperature that is cool enough for the birds to eat. And we'll call that done. Just the dried herbs in this cup, and then the pre-made tea, which is warm but not hot. So this was not a terrible result for their first time of trying something new. We all know birds can be very picky when you introduce new flavors to them for the first time. Newt took one big sip of the tea and then was kind of done with it. He didn't spit it out, so we obviously didn't hate it. Maybe something he just needs to get used to. And then Toto basically didn't stop eating the dried herb mix the entire time that it was sitting there. Um, so that was a big hit for him. Newt, a little less interested in it. Last thing on the agenda for today is a mix of freeze-dried vegetables. This is the Summer Blend by China Prairie in the smaller broken up pieces that are designed to be fed either as is or rehydrated and fed to your bird. Freeze-dried foods can be a really interesting thing to try. If you have a bird that is really picky and isn't taking to produce, some birds will take to freeze-dried foods a lot better as they have a crunchier, drier texture. So you can get them used to the flavors of vegetables while they are still getting that texture that they're familiar with with the dry foods and seeds that they might already be eating. And then over time, you can gradually convert them onto the whole fresh vegetables by rehydrating it with small amounts of water and gradually rehydrating it more and more and more every time you serve it to them so they gradually get accustomed to the texture of a fresh food instead of a crunchy freeze-dried one. So it can be a really helpful tool for those dietary transitions and it can also just be a fun way to mix up the diet a little bit, add some extra texture, and a little backup to have on hand in case your fridge happens to not work overnight and all of a sudden your produce has gone bad or you just miscalculated how much you had left and all of a sudden you have no chop one day, you can have the freeze dried sitting in your pantry and now you have something to give them while you work on getting that other produce ready. One thing I am personally curious about this one and I couldn't really find a solid concise answer as far as bird specific information went is the safety of freeze dried foods with birds. With dogs and cats and people, if you eat a lot of a freeze dried food, it can usually cause some excess gases and the food does expand as soon as it comes into contact with moisture. So it will rehydrate inside of your body. And for most terms of things, it's not really a problem but if you have a lot of it or you are dehydrated and in things like cats you can run into kidney issues as you then become dehydrated as it's sucking up a lot of the moisture from your system and it can produce some bloating as it produces excess gas throughout that process. I'm not sure if the same issue happens with birds since their digestive tract is so dramatically different. Um, there were no warnings or labels or anything like that on the product itself or from a quick glance at their website. And like I said, when I went searching, I couldn't really find a clear cut answer on the safety of it entirely. So for me personally, this is something I'll only feed as a treat. I wouldn't feed this as their main diet entirely. It just seems like something that could cause them to get dehydrated and potentially cause problems down the road. But as a treat, as a fun experience, to give them a small bit every now and then, I don't really see that causing major problems, but to each their own. So we will give it a little bit of a try and we will see whether or not they like it. This one has broccoli, carrot, red cabbage, Blockly florets, green peas, apple pieces, red bell pepper, green bell pepper, blueberries, kale, unsweetened coconut, pomegranate, oregano, mint, dill weed, ginger, and corn flowers. So for this one, we're gonna do three ways. For the first one, I'm just gonna do it plain, dried, nothing else done to it. Let them have the crunchy texture, see how they like it. The second one, we're gonna take the dried mix and add some water to it. And this stuff rehydrates really, really quickly. Doesn't take long and it doesn't take a lot of water either. And then we have our rehydrated veggies. So to finish off the last freeze dried veg one, we're just gonna add some of the tea into the veg to rehydrate it. This one is the one that is completely freeze dried, rehydrated with water, and then rehydrated with the tea. So the birds did pretty good with this one, especially at their first attempt for trying something new. When it came to the completely freeze-dried, Newt tried it, Toto wasn't interested. Newt mostly wanted all of the dehydrated fruits, um, but he did try a little piece of the broccoli stem. So he, you know, was willing to give it a try, um, but his preference was definitely the one that had just been rehydrated with water. He basically gobbled everything up that was in that bowl. Um, didn't really seem to care that it had been freeze dried at one point or another. He just was happy to be eating some hydrated food. Toto seemed to prefer the one that had been rehydrated with water as well as the one that had been rehydrated with tea. I did see him eat more of the one that had been rehydrated with tea, um, but Newt was also hogging the water bowl uh, instead, so it's possible that that's the only reason why he was eating that one. 
um, but he did seem to enjoy it and ate mostly the bean sprouts as well as some of the bits of fruit. Um, but he did give everything a little bit of a sample and gave it all a try. Toto just wasn't nearly as interested in the dried form, but I will say off camera, he seemed to enjoy the texture and would rip it up like it was a fun toy. Um, so he at least seemed to enjoy the crunch, but maybe just the dried flavor wasn't necessarily for him. So I'm not mad about it. This went pretty well. They were willing to try a little bit of everything, which is huge for birds. Usually when you give them something new, they really don't want to try it. It can take weeks to months for them to want to try. So the fact that on day one, all of these guys were willing to try a little bit of everything that was offered. I am nothing but happy about that. Newt really loved the dehydrated apple. Toto really loved the rehydrated forms of the vegetables. And the tea, they both liked for different reasons. Toto liked to eat it dry, and Newt loved chugging the tea down off camera afterwards. He just kept going back to it and drinking more. So they will definitely get their use out of that. My guys, I would say, definitely don't enjoy the dehydrated vegetables as much as they do the fresh ones, but it is definitely a fun thing to incorporate more into their daily routine and to have as an emergency backup just in case I do ever run out of chop or have forgotten to go to the store or whatever else happens to happen. It can be a fun way to kind of mix things up a little bit. But that's going to do it for me today. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next one. Bye!